Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Tony, and I have to lose weight, and I just returned from an epic 10-day cruise on a princess cruise ship with so many food options that I couldn't help but gain weight, right? Well, th that's not really how the story turned out. I'm going to give you guys my before cruise weight and my after cruise weight. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've been doing to progress forward and I got a, you know, I had a food crisis, food crisis right at the beginning of the cruise, food crisis in New Jersey. I don't really have an intro, so this is where the intro would roll. So, uh, fat guy, gotta lose some weight, gotta have to lose, bip, bip, scab it. I guess I gotta work on it. Okay, here's the deal. Here is the deal. I went on the 18th, the 18th of September. What is today? Today's the 2nd of October. I just realized I have my watch on upside down. I must not have looked at my watch all day. Uh, well, I'll leave it like that. The 2nd of October, 30 days in September, 14 days ago, about two weeks ago, I went to, it's a nice day in Florida. Sorry, I'm a little hyper. Uh, 14 days ago, I went to Newark, New Jersey with anticipation of boarding the Caribbean Princess on the 19th. That's a cruise ship if you're not from the cruising community. Caribbean Princess, a cruise ship on the 19th in New York City. And we stayed at a hotel next to the airport, the Courtyard by Marriott Airport. And there's nothing near there. If you wanted any food, you had to eat in the restaurant, which wasn't open for lunch, or you had to use Uber Eats to get the food. And that's what I did. I used Uber Eats to get the food. And immediately when I pulled up Uber Eats, I was faced. I was faced with a huge food crisis. The very first offering on Uber Eats was White Castle. Now, if you know anything about me and my love of fast food, you know that as a Midwestern boy who grew up on those gut bombs, those sliders, those White Castle cheeseburgers, you know that it's one of my favorite fast food. And you also know that I can't really get them here in Florida unless I want to drive a couple hours across the state. So I am often, I am often craving White Castles. And boom, there it was on Uber Eats. I could so easily got six White Castle cheeseburgers. They're small. Don't let the six scare you. I mean, it might still be a lot. But I could have got the little cheeseburgers, had them delivered right to my face, delivered right to my hotel, and, well, I didn't do it. Instead, I found a place that I don't even remember the name that had healthy-type food, and I got this salad that had kale and grilled chicken and healthy-sounding things. And the cool thing is the they were having to buy one, get one, so I was able to get two of these salads for the same price, and uh, I had grilled chicken for the rest of the day, which was exciting. And then that evening, I did eat in the restaurant with my friend, and I had a very delicious watermelon and tomato salad, and uh, I started off my trip strong before I got on the cruise. And so let's talk about that. Let's talk about the cruise. Certainly there's a lot of temptation on the cruise. Here's a shot of the International Cafe. They have both a sweet and a savory side. So much good food and those cabinets are delicious food, tempting food. Fortunately, they had some sugar-free desserts in there. And of course, there's main dining rooms and specialty dinings and you know, buffets on cruise ships. And well, overall, I did pretty good, I would say. Let me show you a few of my meals on the cruise ship. I leaned heavily into the grilled chicken and vegetables. I did go to a specialty dining restaurant. I had a steak one night. And then the other complexity to this cruise is I was going to a lot of locations where I had never been before that had localized specialty foods that you're supposed to try. And so I wanted to make sure that I was following my program that I could fit in those specialty foods. So in addition to the foods I ate on the cruise ship, I also tried, you know, this beaver tail, which is a sweet thing, sugar, cinnamon, fried dough. That's not really great if you're thinking about diets. And then also I had Cal's famous ice cream. I, you know, I had several of those kind of things, but in such moderation that it, it did not hinder me, which was exciting. The question that everybody usually has is, can you go on a cruise without gaining weight? A lot of people say you're gonna gain four or five pounds per cruise. That's enough buildup, right? I do wanna share one more thing with you, so don't click off after I give you the weight, but here you go. The morning of the 18th, I weighed 379.8. And then when I weighed on Saturday the 30th, the 30th of September is 373.8. And doing the quick math on that, that is a loss of six pounds. 
six pounds during my cruise. Now, if we kick it over to my Weight Watchers app, I do wanna show you this. I have a 32 day streak, 32 day streak of tracking. So I've been putting in my food for over a month. And since I started Weight Watchers in the beginning of the year, I am down 30.8 pounds. So I'm down 30.8 pounds from my heaviest in 2023, which is probably my heaviest ever. It was over 400 pounds. And I guess while we're looking at the numbers, here are my average steps for at least seven days of that cruise. This is from the 20th to the 26th. I averaged over 8,250 steps a day. So uh, yeah, good progress on my mobility on the cruise. Now I've already been back a couple days and I'm, I'm gonna have to intentionally walk because I miss getting those steps in. But again, I've got to figure out where to do it at. It's hot. Anytime you get out here, it's, look, that's a problem for me to solve certainly, but I'm, I'm excited that I hit that 8,000 average per day. I want to keep that up on some level. Quick health update. Tomorrow is an interesting day. I go to ear, nose, and throat. They're going to look at my uh, enlarged thyroid, and hopefully we can come to some sort of plan on what to do about my enlarged thyroid. And then I think I'm still a few days away from my cardiologist appointment. I, my nails seem to be changing back to a normal person's color. Uh, maybe it's because of the statins I'm taking. I don't know. But uh, we're going to look at my nails. We're going to talk to the cardiologist. We're going to look at the thyroid and continue to uh, lose weight. So good numbers overall and a couple key takeaways. And the one takeaway that keeps reoccurring is find a system that works for you that you can do that is workable. I find that when I consistently track my food, I tend to lose weight. And so logically, I just need to keep tracking my food. So I'm excited to be on that 32 day streak. Secondly, and this could just be for me, it does seem like the more active I am, the better I feel. The more energy I exert seems to equal more energy for me to exert. And what was nice on this cruise, since I have been losing weight since the last cruise, is I felt like I had a greater range of mobility. I felt like that I could go further. I felt like my stamina was a little better. And uh, yeah, it was, it was great. I had a really good time. I know it's a long update, but I hope you guys are encouraged by it. I would love to be encouraged back. Please tell me in the comments what you're doing, how your weight loss journey is going, how you're feeling in general. Uh, thank you guys for checking in on me and supporting my efforts. This is Tony. I have to lose weight. And well, I'll, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.